Hello and warm welcome from Drs. Kiran and Pallavi Patel Global University, Varudra, popularly known as KPGU. I, Dr. Preetesh Makar, Professor and Head of Electrical Engineering Department, welcome all future engineers to this interactive session on what engineering is. I have been in this field for last 24 years and I'd be happy to share my experiences and would like to make the background of this engineering field clear to you. Right. So in a coming slides, we'll discuss what is the fundamental or uh, what is the basics of engineering. Imagine the situation when there was no electricity. Can we imagine our life with that? Just uh, at the uh, dark, you have to light candles or finish our daily task by evening so that uh, we don't have to suffer. We, today, we cannot imagine our life without the electricity. Imagine there were no pumps available, no pipelines, no tap, and you, you were supposed to carry water from well to your home, right? So, uh, Imagine how difficult that would have been. So these are very simple facilities already available. And that's why we do not value it. If these are not available for basic activities also, we, we would have been suffering. Imagine you are living at third or fourth floor and you don't have lift. So you can see the effort this fellow is putting just to climb the stairs, say three or four times a day. Very difficult. Imagine no means of communication. You're communicating through a postman or you're communicating through a board, right? So these are very filmy situations which you see in movies only. But they were true at some time when there was no telephone, no fax, no internet, no, you can say, telegram. But we don't see this. Imagine no vehicles available and people traveling on foot from one town to another. They were having all lot of problems at that time. And this is the extreme situation. When there is no Wi-Fi, if there is no Wi-Fi, no internet, no mobile, what would have been your life these days? You cannot imagine even. Imagine uh, we were in this stage only and uh, were struggling for survival, hunting for food and shelter. Is it not? So, this is not the situation which we are in because we develop. We human beings develop, our mind develop, we could think. So, so we form societies, we went for farming. We develop simple tools which help us survive easy. We develop these simple machines and with that we could do our daily work easily. Now we have modern machines which help us more. They make our life more easy, is it not? We have future machines and these future machines are going to work on your voice command. So further, your life will be more relaxed and more comfortable. In short, our human development is always towards increasing the comfort level and reducing the effort. And who is able to do that? Our machines are able to do that. And who are making these machines? You and I. Our engineers are making all these machines. This is the famous tagline, engineers make the world. Engineering, I find easy because it's about what is around us already using it. We already know the basics of it. Basic principle, we already know it. And sometimes you don't know that you are using it. So when you are going to take the course of engineering, you will see, oh, this I already knew, but now I am systematically learning it. It is very simple. It is fundamental and you can very easily see or imagine it. It requires mostly the common sense. These are the engineering wonders of old time. See, see the architecture, see the, uh, you can say, grandeur of all these architectures at Egypt, Rome, 
India. So these were built even if there were no modern technology available. And today's engineering marvel, you can see the Burj Khalifa, tallest building. You can see our own Statue of Unity, one more engineering wonder. And how can we forget? This is the tallest bridge at Jammu and Kashmir, which will be higher than the Eiffel Tower, right? So proud we are supposed to be. But it's pride of India, a bridge, tallest railway bridge, which is taller than Eiffel Tower. These are all the engineering marvels. I'd like to share a, a, a story, just on a lighter note. It's uh, not to be taken seriously, but it conveys the meaning. The story goes like this. An engineer was removing the engine parts from a motorcycle. Suddenly, he's the famous heart surgeon in his shop. He went to him and said, look at this engine. I opened its heart, took the valves out, repaired and put them back. That, that he, he was telling to surgeon that uh, I, I could take it out and repair and take it back. So the doctor smiled and at the engineer and came close to his ear and said, try same when engine is running. What he meant was that whenever I am taking operation, patient is alive and I'm operating. So for a second or two, that engineer was uh, silent. Then he replied, he said, I can pick any dead engine and make it alive. Can you? So on a lighter note, uh, we can make any dead machine go to life, uh, go, um, take it to work, working. And that's the beauty, that's the satisfaction we get. I love engineering because I'm, I'm sharing my views on this. I'm always creating something new and solving problems. See, whenever you create something or solve problem, you get a creative satisfaction, like the one which uh, an artist gets when he creates new artwork, when a musician creates a new piece of music. Such a creative satisfaction we get when we solve, when we make some new machines or when we repair it or solve the problem. Uh, one more thing which I like about this, that I don't have to work with sick people like doctors. Doctors are doing great job. But uh, once again, uh, uh, it is difficult to work around the environment when they're all uh, this uh, sick and uh, ailing people are there. So they are doing great job, but I find it to my advantage, advantage when I'm an engineer because I don't have to work around sick. I don't have to work around criminals like lawyers. That is also an advantage. I get stress-free and healthy life being an engineer. I get respect in society, that is also essential. I get comfortable salary. And the most important part is that I get good social life. With my friends and family, I get time to spare and money so that I can enjoy the luxury of life with them. If you have all the money, but if you don't have time to spare for yourself, for your hobbies, for your family, then it is of no use. So this is the profession, this is the career, which is give you, giving you respect in society, good earnings, and also good social life. And the best part, which I like about this, that I am able to learn new things all the time. When we started our engineering, that means 1997, I graduated from MS University. So at that time, uh, if I give a simple example, we were working on DOS this operating system. The computer was a black screen and we were supposed to type and press enter to do certain, uh, you can say, command. But these are days we have a number of operating systems and Android and latest Windows and uh, you can say Apple operating system and whatnot. And these are the developments which we have learned and they are more and more user friendly compared to what we used to do at that time. Now, all these uh, new devices are more and more easy. So development is now uh, making things easy for you, even for students also. If that is what is uh, there in pipeline, let's try to see quickly what is science, technology, and engineering. Science is nothing but studies of study of laws of nature. Whatever is happening around it, around us, that is to be studied in that science. 
technology is using science and giving detailed outline of making something useful to society. And what engineering is that using science and technology, making something which is, uh, uh, you can say, cost effective, efficient, and long lasting. Actually, making it is called engineering. And that is the beauty of it. These are famous engineers. You can see Mr. Bean, then Mikhani sir, Azim Premji sir, Narayan Murthy sir, Satyan Rila. The list is very, very long. And these are some of them, just five of them on the screen to share it with you. Modern history tells me that uh, the history of modern science is that it started with Greek people who tried to understand the nature and try to explain what is happening. Uh, Nicholas Copernicus and Galileo tried to explain uh, that Earth uh, is uh, not the center of the universe and it is orbiting around the sun. Newton sir gave uh, the laws of motion, you know, law of theory of gravity. Charles Maxwell about uh, electromagnetic wave. Uh, Benjamin Franklin, who invented other, you can say, the famous kite experiment. So we can consider him father of electricity. Alessandro Volta, who started this revolution, and now we have the batteries. Steam engine, we can say James Watt, father of mechanical engineering. Charles Babbage, father of computers. These are all scientists and uh, you can say the great researchers because of which uh, what we have today is what we are enjoying, right? So, you know, how can we forget uh, the father of engineering in India? I'm Vishwesh Raya, sir. And uh, in fond memory of him, we are celebrating 15th September as an engineer. The Bharat Ratna, he was awarded and uh, he is father of engineering in India. In short, we study science for studying laws of nature. Engineers use laws of nature. They use science and simple mathematics to make something useful to society. They make life of an individual comfortable. They take care of cost part also. They take care of efficiency, reliability, and environment part. And that is engineering. The engineering was explained in a very short and brief manner to you. I hope you enjoyed it. But if it has to be made interactive, it should follow by an activity. I'll post a link after this video. You have to click on this link. There will be a Google form opening. And there will be some basic questions and activities suggested there. You have to use your common sense, internet, and other resources and try to answer this while answering. Uh, you will enjoy and you will learn a lot. And these are all fun activities. You're going to enjoy this. If you want to get connected to me, uh, I would like to hear from you. You can get connected to me on any of these links. Thank you. I hope you like this video and uh, more such videos will be shared to you on daily basis. And uh, this is to gear up for the journey called engineering. So all the best and uh, I enjoyed uh, interacting with you through this virtual medium. I hope you also enjoyed this video. Thank you and uh, uh, happy journey of engineering. Ahead.